Released in 2012, Nintendo's Wii U was not a smash hit for the company. And that really makes sense considering how many third parties did not support the system. And it's not just that that was the main problem with the Wii U. There was a whole lot of other stuff that really brought down the console and caused Nintendo as a company to lose faith in the Wii U. However, in 2018, I still consider the Wii U to be one of the best budget Nintendo consoles you can get because of its amazing game lineup and because of its price. So in this video, I'm going to be covering just that. However, before I get into this topic, I just want to say that for everyone who has been supporting my channel recently, everyone who has subscribed and been a part of this community, I really do appreciate it. You guys have been helping me get back on my feet in this channel, and I really think that Vizella Productions is starting to pick up more. And if you also are new here, you may want to join in on this community, but it's all, it's totally up to you. I'm not forcing you to do anything, but I really do hope you enjoy this video, and let's get into it. So for everyone who owns a Nintendo Switch, this video may seem pretty pointless because the Nintendo Switch is pretty much getting all of the games either that were on the Wii U that were really good, getting a sequel, or getting ported to the Nintendo Switch. However, if you don't own a Switch, you may be looking at other options, and one of the best options is to get a refurbished or even a used Wii U. Now if you don't know what, a, what the Wii U was somehow, basically the Wii U was a console that Nintendo made in 2012, and it had pretty mediocre sales, and that's an understatement. The Wii U did not sell well at all, and is actually Nintendo's worst-selling home console of all time. But sales don't mean everything, and the Wii U still ha did have quite a few good games. And that's why a lot of them are getting ported or having a sequel being put on the Switch. Because why not put it on there? Because the Switch is doing way better than the Wii U, so, so why not give those games a second chance? However, if you are seeing those games and you just want to try them out, or maybe you just want a Nintendo console on a budget, the Wii U makes perfect sense. One of the biggest reasons as to why the Wii U is such a perfect console for anyone who is on a budget is how it works. So the Wii U's concept is how you can play it in different rooms. And although this concept isn't perfectly executed, it's not terrible either. You can go somewhat far from the Wii U. So if you do want a kind of portable system, you can do that by going into different rooms. So the Wii U kind of makes sense if you want to play games away from the TV. It can do that. You Now, you don't have the flexibility of the Nintendo Switch or the 3DS where you can take it everywhere. However, the concept still is a half step. It's there, and if you aren't, if you're not going to be using it too much, it doesn't get in the way. However, if you do want to play away from the TV, or if you just want to use the both screens, then t that's totally fine. On top of that, if you don't own a TV, then you can just use the gamepad. Literally, you don't need a TV for the Wii U, which is something that I feel like a lot of people have not been mentioning about the Wii U. Is that, especially when it launched, if you ha are on a budget... You can play it like that, and you if you want a home console and you're on a budget, you can literally play it without a TV. So if you somehow don't need it, don't have a TV, you don't need one with the Wii U. Of course, it is ideal to get a TV later on because that's going to be the best experience for the Wii U. But still, it's not necessary. So speaking of being on a budget, if you want to pick up a Wii U, you can get it at a very cheap price. So on the Canadian version of eBay. I can often find the Wii U with some accessories and maybe even a few games going for 150 to 200 bucks, which is not bad considering that this console is basically a Nintendo Switch, just a half step version of that. And especially considering all the amazing games that are sometimes even bundled in these deals, the Wii U seems like a steal in a lot of people's minds. And a lot of the times, this is not even like bids, this is actual sales that you can get on eBay, which that's not bad considering that the price is probably going to stay the same for a while. Of course, you do want to be careful. Occasionally, you may see a Wii U going for above its launch price. In fact, I even see a Wii U right now, I'm looking at eBay, with a Wind Waker HD bundle that's going for 780 bucks. So, you want to stay clear, just steer clear of that if you are on a budget. But being honest, you can find Wii U's with a lot of accessories and games, Oh, for like a hundred bucks, a hundred fifty. So I think that the Wii U is a great console to get on a budget, especially because of that. But that's not the only reason. There is also other budget reasons, such as the games. There is tons of hidden gems on the Wii U that you can get it today for next to nothing. Like for example, some this doesn't even apply to just the Wii U. If you're buying any console that's not of this generation. 
usually the price of the console and the games are going to be way below its normal launch price. Like, for example, if you were to get an Xbox 360, you could get the console and you could get Halo 4 for like $65, and that's really pushing it, being honest. You can probably find it for way less. And I'm just using the 360 as an example. You can do it with tons of our consoles. But for Nintendo fans, I really do think that the Wii U is the best option for that. Because it's sort of in this zone where it's not too old, but it's not too new either to be too expensive. And because of that, you're still going to have a lot of great games. One of the best games that I feel like if you are getting a Wii U on a budget is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So if you don't own a Switch and you don't plan on getting a Switch or Breath of the Wild for a Switch, then if you're interested in playing Breath of the Wild, you should get it for the Wii U because it's going for around 40, 60, sometimes 40, 60 bucks is the Canadian side, but sometimes you can get it for like 30, 40, which considering the game came out last year is not bad. And that's for the Wii U version. So you pick that up with the console, maybe even a bundle, and you may be able to get yourself that for like maybe 150, maybe 170. Not a whole lot of money for that. And being honest, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is still an amazing game. Like seriously, I know people have been saying that they just want to play this game and they buy an entire console for it. So if you were to do that, buy the Wii U. It still has a lot of amazing games and it's way cheaper, well, in some areas, than a Switch. Of course, if you do own a Switch, there's not much of a point of getting this, but being honest, Breath of the Wild is a great game that I really do recommend you should buy for the Wii U. And there's more too. You can get games such as Splatoon, which Splatoon is kind of starting to reach its end because Splatoon for the Wii U is sort of starting to become a bit more dated. Now that the sequel is out, I'm sure that support is going to start to become... I guess, well, the servers are not going to be as reliable, I'm guessing. But still, if you want to play an online game, the version for the Wii U is still a great version. One of the games that I've been really interested in buying for the Wii U is actually Black Ops 2, too. And there's a lot of different other games you can get as well. Because Black Ops 2 is sort of like a game that you don't normally see on a Nintendo console. And plus, with the concept of the Wii U, it is sort of enticing me. And stuff like that, you're going to find games that really entice you like that on the Wii U. And you can find that on any old console that's not brand new. And you can even find that on new consoles, but especially on the Wii U, I've been finding a lot of games like that. And support for these games are usually not bad, especially multiplayer games that are online. You can usually find that the servers are still being supported, which that's not bad, being honest. Considering that the Wii U came out in 2012 and Nintendo's history of dropping consoles after the successor comes out, I'm impressed that this support is still going. And there are other games too, such as Pikmin 3. I think that Pikmin 3 is another hidden gem on the Wii U that I think a lot of people don't talk about too much anymore. And although we're probably going to be seeing a game like Pikmin 4 on the Nintendo Switch, I still think that you should buy Pikmin 3 on the Wii U. And a lot of the games that are being ported that were on the Wii U to the Switch, a lot of those are really good games, such as Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, and you can also get other games such as Bayonetta 2, Super Mario 3D World, which I don't know if that'll get ported to the Switch, but games like that are highlights of the Wii U that you can get cheaper if you do own a Wii U because they're older. And the games are really the biggest highlight of buying a Wii U in 2018. I still think that the Wii U is an amazing and phenomenal console, at least in my opinion, and I think it has a lot of great games. So I would recommend that you do buy a Wii U if you are liking a lot of these ports, but you just don't aren't interested in buying a Switch. The Wii U is the perfect option because a lot of these ports are already on the Wii U, so it makes a lot of sense to buy that. And some games haven't even been ported to the Wii U yet, like Mario Maker. And Mario Maker, although Mario Maker has kind of been split in half now that Miiverse has been shut down, Mario Maker is still a great game that I feel like you should pick up. And I do think that Mario Maker is one of those highlights of the Wii U that I keep mentioning. That if you were to buy a Wii U on a budget, it just would make perfect sense to get. Of course, you can get games like that on the... Of course, you can get Mario Maker on the 3DS, but that's not the point. The 3DS version, at least in my opinion, does not compete with the Wii U version. And I just, I think that for a lot of people, the Wii U houses a lot of these games at just a better value. At least when compared to its ports, because a lot of them are getting ported. And a lot of them are not even going to get ported at all, so I think it's worth it. And one of also the biggest reasons to get a Wii U 
is the Virtual Console. So as of right now, there is no Virtual Console on the Nintendo Switch. And I don't know if there will be any in the future. I hope there is. And of course, you can't get Virtual Console on the 3DS. But on the Wii U, I just I think I like it a bit more in some areas. Of course, you can use it. it you can have, have like portable games on, you know, full portable old classic games that you can take with you on 3DS. But on the Wii U, it's just a more ideal experience for me because of the bigger screen and the more power. So you can run it at a higher resolution and stuff. Now, I do have to mention this. I do know that support for the Wii U has been dwindling from Nintendo. There is no more games, whether you like it or not, Nintendo is not releasing any new games for the Wii U. And that makes sense because the Wii U, being honest, as a console is just a thing of the past in Nintendo's eyes. And it is being honest, but still, I feel like regardless of its support, there is a lot of highlights that Nintendo cannot get rid of at this point. So I would just recommend that the Wii U would be your purchase on a budget when it comes to p buying a console in 2018. So to wrap up this video, my main point was just to show the best parts of buying a Wii U in 2018. And I do mention budget a lot in this video, and I know that someone could probably turn it into a compilation of me saying that. But being honest, there's so many great games for the Wii U that I just can't turn down. And if someone else were to be asking, hey, I want to buy a console in 2018, but I don't have much of a budget, what console do you think I should get? One of my top picks would be the Wii U because of its virtual console, because of its amazing lineup of games, and especially because of its price. But anyways, those are just my opinions, and if you have your own thoughts, please let me know them in the comments. I hope you did enjoy this video, I really did enjoy making this video, I just, I do really love making the video, the, talking about the Wii U, and I did love making this video just because of my passion for the Wii U, and although I do love my Switch a lot, and I do love my 3DS, I just love my Wii U so much too, and I do think that the Wii U is a console that in 2018 is still a must-own due to its price. But of course, if you want to check out my social medias to stay up to date with my channel, feel free to check those out in the description. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you.